Last year, I decided I think I want to go back to school and I set out to find masters and PhD programs that were fully funded. In this video, I will share with you what I found. Hey guys, it's Tamara here and if you're new, I run a blog called TravelingNatural.com where I talk about travel, personal development, and fitness. So, last year, 2020, I posed a question in an online group that I'm a part of, a travel group, to see if anyone had done a master's or PhD program abroad. At the time, I was thinking, Maybe I should go back to school, but I can only do it if it's fully funded. So I got a lot of responses back and one response in particular led me to this video where I learned about the Erasmus Mundus Master's Program, which is a fully funded scholarship program for master's level students. So I was excited. I applied to two programs and I wanted to share that information with you because there may still be time for you to apply if you're interested, but I just wanted to put the information out there because not a lot of people know about it. So in order to apply, you need to navigate around the Erasmus Mundus website, which could be a little difficult at first. So, in this video, I'm going to do a tutorial to show you how to search the site to find a program that you can apply for, and then we will talk about all of the checklist items that you should have to apply to your specific program. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. The link for the program is in the description box. And once you click on it, you will get to this homepage. Just a note, this is the old homepage. It's still there now, but they did recently update it on February 1st. Once you are there, please read through all of these items. The overview, the duration, the condition of the programs, the academic outcome, how they will support you financially, how to apply. There's so much information on this page, but please be sure to read through it. You also want to read through what they are doing for their COVID response. Once you've read through all of that, you're ready to click apply. This will bring you over to the catalog which is the listing of all of the master's degree programs. There are over a hundred programs, so a lot of information. And honestly, I read through the majority of these programs because I was interested to see what was out there. Now, you may be interested in doing that too or you already know what you want to specialize in so you'll see these six categories here at the top the field of study which will show you the different areas of interest that you can apply under depending on your skill sets you can also apply by country you can also look at the different universities, the year, the amount of credits, and the project year. So let's think of fall 2021 and select that and click apply. And let's just choose life sciences. Now we see all of the programs that fall under the life sciences category. For example, let's click on one of them. So you see two links. The link on the right, this one, brings you to a summary page. The link on the left 
brings you to the program website. So let's click on this program, for example. So this program, European Master in Animal Breeding, you see it will bring you to the specific program website and it gives you a wealth of information about how to apply the different study tracks. It will also go over the different partner schools. So when you click on the summary link, it brings you to the summary of the program on the Erasmus page. You can see the different countries that are a part of the program, all the partner schools, and the coordinating school. The coordinating school is the school you will send your completed application materials to. Be sure to look at this information here, especially the start and end date of the project scholarship or the grant so you'll know when the grant will end and whether or not you want to apply to that program. Okay, let's look at another area. How about social sciences and humanities? And we're still thinking about fall 2021 and click apply. And again, this is the old website. It's still active, but the bottom yellow that you see, I'm not sure why it's not showing up, gives you the link to the new website. Let's choose a different program. Um, how about this? Advance. This program is for people interested in social work and advanced development in social work. So we're on the Erasmus summary page. We see the coordinating university right here, the university where you will send all of your documents. And here are all the partner schools. You can click on them and see their location. You can also click on it to go to the school's website. So here is the website for this social work program and we can see here this is actually an old website and they have a link to the new one. So let's check that out. So here's the link to the social work programs website. Again, you definitely want to read through all this information if you are interested in, in applying to this program. This is where you will find out the deadline information, any FAQs, what you need to be able to apply to this program in terms of eligibility, and you can look at the specific fee information for the scholarships, what it will pay out. Okay, so this is going into the new version of the website. Once you click the link, it will bring you to this page, and I chose my language of choice. And this is what the new homepage looks like. So at the top, you can look at different grants. We're focused on 2021 and beyond. Or you can look at the scholarships for the master's program and any news and contact information. And of course, information about COVID. So here's just a blurb about what they updated with the new website, which was launched two weeks ago. You can read this if you're interested in knowing what they changed. So let's look at scholarships and click on the first link and it will bring us to the catalog for the master's program. As you can see, the search filtering is a little different. So now it doesn't specifically give you the year, but you can select it. Or you can search by keywords. Let's do that. Let's say we're interested in chemistry programs and click search. Now the 139 programs filtered down to 18 programs that are specific to the field of chemistry. So you'll just click through and find the program that aligns with your career goals and read up on the information on how to apply. Here's an interesting one. Again, the summary page still is exactly the same. Oh, 
This is just a quick look at the PhD programs. The PhD programs fall under this scholarship right here, so you can check out this page if you are interested in PhD programs. Let's go back to the catalog of the master's programs. There's this program, which I thought had a very great website. So I just wanted to show you a program with a very user-friendly website. So this is for education policies and global development. And of course, if you're interested in this field of study, please be sure to apply. You can only apply to three programs in total, so be sure to keep that in mind. So they gave a great layout of what is needed to apply in terms of your academic background and qualifications. all of the required documentation, you will need to create a Europass CV and that is completely different if you are an American applying to any of these programs. It's completely different from a resume. But I'll show you later on on how you can create your Europass CV. So this school or this program lays out all of the information that you need, also letting you know the types of recommendation letters, the dates for when they select students, so you can apply as a scholarship student or a self-funding student. I would recommend just make sure to get in your application for the scholarship program deadline, and if it doesn't work out, you can enter as a self-funded student. Here they're also showing you how they disperse the award money. I don't know, I just really love the way this website was designed. So you do get a monthly allowance of 1,000 euros, which will help for food and paying for rent. And the program also covers your tuition, your health insurance, any lab fees, any library fees, book fees, etc. Okay, so here is a look at the Euro Pass for your CV. What you do is access the Euro Pass website and it will walk you through step by step on how to create a European style CV or curriculum vitae. I think that's how it's pronounced. Once you create your CV, you can reuse it multiple times, especially if you choose to apply to three programs. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, if it was helpful to you, please give it a like and leave a comment down below letting me know if you have any questions, letting me know what program you're excited to apply to, and let me know if you decide to apply next year. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye!